rise forms, or the way a trout moves water when it feeds on the surface can tell you something about what a trout is eating. Often trout eat emerging insects just under the surface, which looks like a rise, but often just the back of the fish breaks the surface and not the mouth. This is often called a bulging fish and is usually not accompanied by any bubbles. A rise followed by distinct bubbles is a sure sign a trout took something off the surface. Generally, the bigger the rise, the bigger the insect the fish has taken. Very splashy rise forms are often made by smaller, more enthusiastic trout, and often the smaller the fish, the more commotion it makes. The rises that go unnoticed by many anglers are often the most important ones. Even a large trout can take an insect from the surface with very little commotion, just poking its snout above the surface and inhaling a fly by cavitation. Look for dark heads poking the surface film or little winks in the water. These trout will often surprise you by their size. You can usually tell a big fish by the deeper sound it makes when it rises. Plus a larger fish moves more bubbles and foam aside when it rises. So it pays to spend some time observing fish feeding before you even make a cast or even pick a fly. A little observation can pay off in a most satisfying day. The next thing you gotta figure out is, well, what fly to use? What fly are those fish eating? And it's often important. Fish sometimes get selective. So you look on the water. Don't worry about what's flying in the air. There's caddisflies flying in the air here, but I don't know if the fish are eating those caddisflies. They might be eating something totally different. You have to think about what's on the water. You might not be able to see much. Sometimes a pair of binoculars might help you, but often you won't be able to see what they're taking. You may never figure out what they're taking. You may have to change flies a dozen times. I've had days when I never figured out what the fish were taking. So it's a lot of trial and error. You never know what fly they're gonna take. You make some educated guesses. You go out there and you give them a try. Quite often when you have rising fish, there'll be bugs over in the current lane where the fish are feeding and no insects where you're standing. And sometimes you actually have to try to wade over to the other side or where the fish is to get in the same current lane to see what kind of bugs they're seeing. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We've got a fish feeding up there in the riffle. I'm gonna carefully slide down here in the tail, pick up an insect, see what they're probably eating and then come over and try to match it. So what I got here is a little PMD mayfly. Now he got a little bunged up when I caught him. He had just emerged and he's still a little soft. Uh, but that's okay because I could see the size and the color of the fly. So all I have to do is hopefully poke around in my fly box until I find a mayfly imitation that's about the same size and color. Most anglers worry too much about what fly pattern to choose. In any given situation, dozens of fly patterns will catch trout in the same pool. Presentation of the fly is just as important, if not more important, than the correct fly pattern. And next. This video is brought to you by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.